Hey guys, Ryan here. Thank you for joining me for a new video. In this one, I wanna do a graphic design tutorial. I wanna show you how you can do curved text the right way above circular designs and graphics that you may be using for your print-on-demand designs. Now, I know it has been very popular to do these kind of circular, vintage, retro, sunset-style designs, and what I'm gonna show you today is the perfect complement to just that. So, I'm gonna go jump on my computer and we can get started. Thanks again for joining me guys. This is gonna be a really good video. It seems like you've been enjoying these design tutorial videos, so I'm trying to do at least one every week. And the curved text, this is not an uncommon thing in designs, but if you've never done it before, it's definitely annoying to figure out. So real quick, before we jump into things, let me introduce myself for the new viewers. I'm Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.7 million on Amazon to date, including a quarter million through Amazon Merch. If you want to follow the links in the description, I've got a free eight-day print-on-demand mini course, one lesson delivered to your inbox each day. I've got a print-on-demand Facebook community that I'd love to see you inside of. It's growing rapidly, lots of great discussion going on there every day. And if you didn't know, I publish income reports on the first or second day of each month. If you want to follow my journey as a print-on-demand seller or go back in time and see how long it took me to scale up my business, you can do all that. All you got to do is subscribe. Last but not least, I wrote a full print on demand course that I'm constantly building and adding to. It's currently just got uh, just under 70 lectures. So if you'd like to check that out, there's a link in the description. All right, let's dive into the curved text demo. So essentially what I'm gonna be showing you is how to make that graphic on the left-hand side, which once it's finalized and it's done, you can go ahead and you can upload it to products like this t-shirt you see here. You can put it on coffee mugs, you can put it on Whatever your heart desires, there's plenty of products you can sell it on. And it is not really sponsored by All Sunsets. I don't know what to call it. Basically, I'm going to be using a pre-made graphic from my friends at All Sunsets. And that's going to save me a ton of time. Because instead of having to design that big circular fish graphic, which looks amazing, by the way, I'm just going to pay them. I think it works out to one dollar and change per month it's 19.99 to join and you get access to hundreds of these sunset graphics that you see here above me uh this one i always say is a no-brainer signing up for all sunsets because they sell so well all right so this is an adobe photoshop tutorial i am a creature of habit sometimes people ask me why i don't use illustrator it's honestly because i've been using photoshop for over 15 years and i like it and it's what i'm comfortable in so i'm using photoshop all right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a 4,500 by 5,400 pixel canvas. That means 4,500 pixels wide, 5,400 pixels tall. You wanna set the DPI to 300, by the way, if this is for like print on demand t-shirts and whatnot, which I'm assuming it is. All right, and then this is the easy part. <laughs> Just go ahead and drag and drop your graphic in if you have a pre-made graphic. Otherwise, you're gonna to wanna to make one yourself. Either way, the curved text tutorial is going to be valuable to you. Um, you can, I mean, when I sh I'm going to show you this, but you can essentially leave the middle blank and you can still draw curved text if you want to. All right, this specific graphic, again, I grabbed from All Sunsets. It's called the Catfish Retro Sunset Fishing. Um, that's about it. You just click download and then from the download, drag, drop, boom, done. All right, so this is where the curved text tutorial really begins. On that left-hand side, you're going to want to select your shape tool. So it's about two underneath the text tool. You got the text tool, the path selection tool, then you got the shape tool. Now, if you click the shape tool and you hold, it should pop out and give you the option of selecting the ellipse tool. We're going to use that one. Now, after selecting the ellipse tool, in the top left, change the drop down. If it says shape, which is the default, change it to say path. This is important. All right, now you're going to want to draw your circle. So you can go ahead and click into your canvas and then drag to expand it. Typically I go, you know, I click in the top left and I drag out to the bottom right and hold shift. This way it'll be a perfect circle. Now you don't have to hold shift if you're not trying to make your text arc a perfect circle. But in this case, I went ahead and I grabbed a pre-made graphic that is a perfect circle. So we're gonna need to hold shift. And by the way, just try to match it to the size of the graphic. It may be hard to see, but I was able to draw that ellipsis basically right around the edges of the uh, the graphic that we pulled in next we're going to add our text so go over to the text tool and make sure the horizontal text tool or horizontal type tool is selected that should be the default and click there 
And then what you need to do now, this is important, is hover over the top of the ellipsis, the circle path that we drew. When you hover over the top, you should see this icon that's above me. And I also put it, um, cause when I do these screenshots, it doesn't let me actually show you. And if I was doing this demo in real time, unless I was like super zoomed, you wouldn't be able to see it, but it looks like that icon that I put there. When you see that you're okay to click in, when you click in, you'll notice that instead of it being like a flat text layer, like where you can kind of see it draws a box and you can see that your text is going to be flat instead of being flat, it's going to adhere to the path that we just drew. Now, when I clicked in, it put this lorem ipsum placeholder text there for me. So I just took a screenshot to show you what it looks like when you know it worked. Next, you're gonna wanna click the original graphic layer, assuming you have one. If you don't have one, then don't worry about it. But if you do have one like we do, we need to put a little bit of a gap between the text and the graphic. So I clicked the layer over here on the right-hand side of the graphic and I hit Control T. Then you can resize as needed and then keep it centered. So all I did is when you hit control T, you can just scale it down proportionally. I think this looks good, center it, and we are good to go there. So next I am clicking into the text layer, the lorem ipsum again. So again, select our text tool, click in there and change the text, delete the placeholder text and type in whatever text you actually want. You may also want to change the font family. In this case, I changed it to the font league Gothic, which is a nice, bold, tall, thin letter font, which is nice for a lot of designs that I like to create. Also, I matched the color to the red on the actual graphic. So I thought that made it look nicer. Now we're going to create the text layer at the bottom. So the first thing you want to do is come over to your layers panel and duplicate that text layer that we just made. Next, disable the original text layer. So you can just under the lock side, uh, you can either just lock it or just click the little eye icon so that it's not visible. And then what we're gonna do with the duplicate is we are going to select the path tool, which is right underneath the text tool. And then we are going to select the visible text. Now click on the little dot on top you remember how we hovered over when we were initially creating the text we hovered over that dot and the little icon changed and then we clicked in and it knew that we were adding text to the path the curved path now we're going to click into that dot while clicking and holding you should be able to drag and rotate it from the top to the bottom of the circle resulting in upside down text but hey it's in the place we wanted it to be now you're gonna wanna click path again. So you can release and then click again and drag it upwards. And it should look something like what we see here. It's not exactly what we're after, but it's almost there. We're getting close. Now go to your character pane, which you may need to go to window on top, on that top navigation. You can go to window, then go to character, then go to baseline, which is highlighted right there. So it's the, the big A and the lowercase a with the upward arrow. So you can increase your baseline value as much as needed. This will expand that path out and bring the text with it until it looks like it's lined up with the top text as far as the gap goes between the original graphic in the middle and the text. So as you can see here, I updated the text value when I had it looking about where I wanted it. And I also matched the color to blue from the graphic, which you can just use the uh, eyedrop tool to match, no problem. Then I re-enabled that top text layer. So it says, I'd rather be fishing. Pretty simple. I mean, I hope it's simple. If you were able to follow along and do this, once you've done it once or twice, it should be second nature in the future. So all you have to do now is disable that background layer and save. With your PNG file, go ahead, upload it to whatever products you are looking to sell. Here, I've used Amazon Merch standard t-shirts as an example. Uh, in this case, we did a red text, a multicolor graphic, and a uh, dark blue text. Notice that all the colors are relatively solid and they would look good against lighter patterned t-shirts that are not an exact match to the shades or hues of colors that we used. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope this tutorial helped. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, good, don't blame me. Blame the people at Photoshop. No, I'm kidding, though. They do a great job with that application. Like I said, I've been using it for over 15 years, so I'm a big fan. Uh, I hope it helped, though, guys. If it did, all I ask, let the YouTube algorithm know. Hit that like button. 
so that they show this video to more people. And if you're not subscribed, do me a favor and consider hitting that big red button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at ryansmethod.com. Thank you.